fire. <laughs> it's a bit dark in here, isn't it, actually? But, um, just wanted to do a ramble video. It's been a while. Well, it's probably not actually been that long. But, um, probably gonna hear some random noises in the background. I'm wearing my massive watch for the first time in so long, okay? I used to just I wear this all the time. And then we got new jackets at work and it would just push my watch into my hand. So I'd keep it would hurt me. So. Don't mind my, my joggy bottoms. So I got this one, which you've probably seen, as you can see. The size difference is quite something, but um, I think it's cute. But I've had this one since I was 16. Well, I've had the watch face since I was 16, I've replaced the strap a couple of times. It would have just been cheaper to get a new watch, genuinely, because I had to buy man straps <laughs> because the watch face is so. My best friend is currently talking to me about her guinea pigs via WhatsApp. So that's interesting. Oh, and um, I helped her find a laptop. Well, I got the help of someone else for that as well. And she got it. It's just a normal black laptop and she sent me a message and a picture of a bright pink silicone laptop cover. You know, the keyboard. And I was just like, oh my god. She said, do you think it's will fit? And I was like, yeah, but um, if it doesn't, it's probably for the best. <laughs> It's funny because I am quite, I am girly, like, well, it's not in frame, I was going to say, but my computer is not girly. Well, the chair I'm sitting on now is a blue gaming chair. Maybe I'll do a room tour one day when I actually can be bothered to tidy it up, but this area my computer's there, of my room, it looks like it could belong to a man, and then the rest, well you've seen my bed covers and, well, my curtains match my current bed covers. Incredibly girly, so this corner is very mismatched. And I've got my lights. I've got them on, but you can't tell, so I'm just gonna... Turn them off, because what's the point? So... That's been going on. Oh, I ordered some conditioner from Amazon, because 
I've nearly run out, well I have run out of the stuff I reordered and I've only got my really expensive stuff left the diva curl stuff that I hardly ever use I use it on special occasions and I ordered it it said prime and then I checked back again later and it said usually shipped between one and two months I was like what the hell are you talking about man you said prime that is next day oh, my dog is having a royal slap and fest over that anyway and so I was like okay I won't cancel that because I'll need some more eventually so I'll order some to be delivered actually tomorrow as in like two days ago I was like where the hell is it you know check my emails and Amazon sent me an email to say sorry for the delay if it's not delivered by Tuesday please contact us and we'll sort it out my hair gonna be looking like straw by the time you get back to me and that is unacceptable I'm gonna have to break into my expensive stuff okay and I'm washing my hair tomorrow and that is not a special occasion very upset <laughs> but um Amazon usually to me but lately well I say lately I mean that one time they haven't been <sighs> depending on what thumbnail I use you might notice that I have this like here because I've tried out some thumbnails before I started filming and I realised that I blend in to my chair and I'm a bit dull so I wanted to spice it up so I literally well if you see it if I put it as my thumbnail this is irrelevant but I was just like Mm, pop a colour so bit of a seedy looking cushion isn't it really it's fun though This lighting reminds me of the video I did years ago now probably when I first got my Roland microphones was it when I first got them? probably and uh, yeah it was this kind of lighting lower quality camera though and um, then I'm, okay, if we could not have a repeat of what I'm about to say, that would actually be I looked up from sitting in this position and saw a humongous spider on my wall It's not cool and I am in the process of tidying my room, which I have been in the process of doing for a couple of months now. So I'll start doing it and we all know the first step of tidying is to make a massive mess. I'm at that stage now where I've made the mess and not actually tidied it all up yet. And spiders love places to hide so I'm actually scared and as soon as I stopped filming I'm going to run around my room picking everything up off the floor although I will just warn you now you're safe you're not safe anywhere from spiders you're, you think you're safe but when you pick everything up off the floor and there's nothing on the floor so spiders can't hide right? incorrect 
I had hooks on the back of my door with my hoodies on. Too many hoodies. And this was a couple of years ago. There was a big spider that I lost in my bedroom. Sleepless nights. Okay, that's what I had after losing that fella. And I grabbed my hoodie off the back of my door. Calm down. And something made me shake it, and thank God I did. Shook it, and the mother f spider fell out onto the floor. Scuttled off. Of course, I screamed, Mommy! I was 24 at the time. And <laughs> I don't know how old I was, but. And, obviously, she came to my rescue. Just... I don't think I'm scared of anything else. I think wasps freak me out because I'm worried they'll sting. But I'm not scared of them in the same way that I'm scared of spiders. Spiders, I literally like. My heart races and I almost like... What's that word? Get frozen with fear. If I see one. And I don't like it at all. Okay, I really don't like it. And I get really scared. And I'm really scared right now. Because a couple of weeks ago, actually. I picked up my handbag from my floor near my pig. This was... A few days before filming my last pig video. Big spider sitting underneath it, wasn't there? It didn't even move either. It just sat there looking at me. So when they say they're more scared of you than you are of it, I definitely moved further than that spider did when we both saw each other. So that's just a load of shit. So. Okay, I'm just gonna take my tea bag out of my tea. It's literally been brewing in there for a about 15 minutes. I know, it's disgusting. I like my tea strong, but... <laughs> Putting my crisp back over here. I've got a plastic spoon. I was very considerate of your feelings because I thought... <coughs> A metal spoon would be a bit too harsh. I don't really like the sound of that, actually. Oh my god, it's squeaking. I'll make up for it by doing this. This is not a racetrack. You know what? People's first um, word, if you like, for my driving is fast. But there is fast drivers like me, and then there is fast and twatty drivers like other people. Not everyone who drives fast, but so I live in a little village. Okay. I'm very proud of this village. I've lived here for 26 years. Okay, it is my home. And I was coming home from work. I think I got home at about quarter past ten in the evening. Was then unlocking my door, my house door, and this car just, it's 40 by the way, miles an hour in the village. Just to give you a rough idea of how sort of villagey this village is, it's not as villagey as a 30 mile an hour village, but it's villagey enough to be considered 40 miles an hour village. Okay, so basically, this car just flew past, and it was one of them really loud ones, you know, and you can tell that it's an absolute crapper of a car, but they've just put something on it to make it sound cool. But it doesn't sound cool, because we all know you're driving like a 
Peugeot 106 or whatever that classic or is it 306 or is it a Saxo a Citroen Saxo those are the kind of rude boy cars that a lot of boys had from when I first learned to drive when the dinosaurs were still around no dinosaurs and humans didn't coexist apparently I mean I live with chickens and they are practically dinosaurs so whatever anyway yeah and what really annoyed me actually was my mum was walking my dog down a really tiny like you can't get two cars past and often if you see someone walking their dog the person walking their dog has to get right up on the side to allow just one car to go past. That's how thin the road is. She was walking my doggy and standing talking to someone. These two cars just apparently went flying past her quite fast. And I can imagine because I've seen them fly past the village before. And it really annoyed me because I thought you could have killed my dog and my mum. Um. But do you know what I mean? You like stop being a bollock head and just drive normally, okay? You're not impressing anyone because it's like when I fill up with petrol and I'm just, you know, standing there nozzling. And when I see people, petrol stations often have tight corners on the way out. And I often see people just completely fly around that corner like and I'm just like you think you're cool but the funny thing is literally everyone that looks at you and you think they're looking at you because they're thinking you're cool but we're literally looking at you thinking what a knob do you know what I mean it's just if you're one of these people try and think of someone else other than yourself I think that microphone without its wig on is so sensitive. You can probably hear me swallow. Have you ever noticed how nearly everything you say or whatever can be classed as an innuendo these days? No word is innocent anymore and it's not good. So annoys me and it annoys me that some people well I know my brother jokes about it I think he's joking my <laughs> dog literally just rolled back and looked at me like this I've been talking to myself for nearly 20 minutes okay get with it anyway um, and um, yeah it annoys me that they put me in the same league as these people because I am not that bad trust me I don't know why but this is my favourite mug I really like the roundness and the curvature of the rim is very satisfying on the lips. Again, that sounds dirty. I mean, perfectly innocent, but... <sighs> okay. How often do you people... This is a test to see if anyone actually watches my videos all the way through, because you're going to have to have watched well, you could have just skipped and been lucky to land on this part, but anyway. How often do you people... I'm sick of hearing people say you guys, so I'm trying to... You, you people... Um, want to hear me read another chapter of Before I Go to Sleep. Because I don't know how often to do it. But at the same time, I don't want it to be one of them things that goes on for like a year. <laughs> 
Um, I suppose it could go on for a year, there's no harm, is there? And are you all proud of how long I've been doing three videos a week for? It's really weird. The f I tried to do this before. Um, a few months ago. Failed miserably. But this time around it feels different. I'm more comfortable with sort of doing any old video really, you know, who cares, just do any old shit. So, I'm kidding. Um, I am so hot right now. I'm surprised I am not glistening. If you live in the UK and you haven't been hit by storms yet, you have probably been noticing how muggy, do you love that word, it is, and how heavy the air feels, how clammy it is, how horrible and like, it is. I really want a thunderstorm, even though places have actually been flooded. I don't want that. I just want a storm to just, and we can just start again. Okay, is that... Um, oh, this is like the biggest news. I ordered off Amazon again, so if they let me down, I won't be happy, okay? Two new microphones. I say two because I wanted them binaural, so I just bought two of them. They're not binaural microphones. I'm not going to tell you what they are. It's going to be a surprise. Um, they should be coming Monday. Should be. But, um... It's going to be one of them things, isn't it, where... Um... It's going to take me a long time to know what I'm doing. I don't even know what the connector looks like yet. So I don't know what I'm going to be plugging it into. Um, I'll, I'll just tell you what they are. They are Rode. NGT2 or NTG2 something like that. They're the shotgun microphone, so they're the long, thin ones. And I really wanted them. <laughs> Sorry. I noticed that a lot of ASMR people have the NGT3. I'm putting a T in there. I don't know if there is a T, but I think there is. Um... A lot of them have them, but they are like 400 quid per microphone. These are 170 per microphone. That was enough. Okay. But I thought, I haven't spent my Patreon money in a while. Only on, like, little bits. So, well, I bought a couple of wigs a few weeks ago. I haven't worn them yet, so that's something. And obviously I bought that tea set that failed miserably. I have bought a few things, but... Over the past couple of years, it's been small things. Apart from my camera, actually. That was a big thing. Um, so I thought, you people are giving me money. Well, not all of you, okay, don't worry, don't panic. <laughs> Some of you are giving me money. I thought it's rude not to spend it on something that will affect you. Do you know what I mean? So instead of like going out and buying a Gucci handbag, I was like, I'll buy some microphones. That's not true, I don't buy Gucci handbags. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. And I, I already have two microphone stands. I can't actually remember where I put them. But they're either in the house or in my brother's unit. Hoping that they're in my brother's unit because I don't think they're in the house. 
Um, and I'm hoping they fit on there. I did see something, and I don't know, I can't remember what the set comes with, that you can mount it on top of the camera, which would be good for... Obviously it won't be binaural with their microphones, it would just be one on top of the camera, but... That would be good for a video like this, although I wouldn't be close to it, but apparently they're good. So hopefully they'd pick up the sound anyway. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'll, if I can, because I've got two of these, this is what I'm recording on. I don't know if they come with a socket, you know, a plug thing like that, or if I'll have to buy or if that will even be good enough quality to record from that microphone onto this. I don't know. The only thing is, I'm going to get two of everything. And I'm sure it came with something that I did not need two of, but I thought, well, ideally I do need two microphones. So. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting them, but I do just hope that they're going to be, that I'm actually going to be able to figure them out and set them up and, because obviously if they're on their microphone stands I could have like one here and one here. I'm hoping the whole binaural thing won't be difficult to set up because... <coughs> When I go into my video editor, I can change one audio to be left and one audio to be right anyway, so, yeah. So, yeah. Very excited, because this camera was a major investment for me, <laughs> so I'm hoping it's going to last a few more. But I've noticed that a lot of ASMR artists have like six microphones, ten microphones, and I'm sitting here with one. You know, it's... Well, I class it actually, okay, as having six as well. Because I have two sets of the Roland binaural, so that's for. And then I have this, which is just the Roland recorder with its own microphones on. Technically there are two on this and I have two of these, so that's actually eight. Eight microphones everyone. It's amazing. But I don't really. Um, sorry, I didn't actually mean to slap then, that wasn't for effect, that was just me. But, um, yeah, I want to, yeah, so... If anyone has any advice about those microphones, or you know what would be best to record them on, please let me know. Really not good at this kind of thing. Well, I figured these out by myself, so there you go. Um, I just want to... I don't know. Like I've said before, that I feel like I'm stuck in a rut with my channel. It's just not... Literally, I've made like... My last 20 videos have gained me about 10 subscribers. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm cursed. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's a YouTube curse. Anyway, I'm really just running on a load of poo now, aren't I? But yeah, so, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to go now. It's getting late, it's the witching hour, the moon changes, I go weird. It happens to everyone, I'm sure. Okay, I'm going to go and have some chill time. Well, this has been quite chill, to be fair. So, um. I'll see you next time. See you Wednesday.
I can say that now. See you Wednesday. I'm going to be quite busy from Wednesday to Friday, so I'm going to have to actually try to remember to upload things in advance or, you know, schedule. I've used the scheduling button a few times now. It's very, makes me feel so organised. Good night. Sweet dreams. <laughs>